Hey everyone, and in this video I will go over 8 different things you may not have known about the touch bar on your MacBook. Alright, for my very first tip, whenever there's a slider like this, instead of having to press on the button and then use the slider, you can actually hold down on the button and continue sliding with your finger in one gesture. So just hold down and slide. In addition to the first tip, the second tip is that whenever there's a slider, you can just swipe on the button itself and change the setting, so you don't even have to see that slider show up. This is useful if you just want to change your volume by one step, because every time you swipe, it changes the setting by one step. You can actually customize your touch bar by going to System Preferences, Extensions, Touch Bar, and then clicking on Customize Control Strip. From here you can customize your control strip by dragging the buttons down. You can add up to 4 buttons here and you can even remove them all if you so choose. You may know that when you press on this arrow, you reveal the expanded control strip. But what you might not have known is that this can also be customized simply by pressing the arrow once you're in the customized control strip screen. Another cool customization feature is that you can customize the control strip for a specific app. In this case, I'm using the Notes app, but it'll work for any app that has touch bar support. Go to View, and then Customize Touch Bar. Here you can change the buttons for your control strip in relation to that specific app. Another thing you might not have known about the touch bar is if you're a person who doesn't look at the keyboard when they type, you don't have to necessarily touch the escape key. You can touch a little bit to the left of it and it'll still work. Something interesting, but not incredibly useful for most use cases, is that you can type Command Shift 6 to take a screenshot of your touch bar. An amazing feature is that there's a media scrubber where you can move to points in a video playing on your computer. You can even access this if you're in another window by pressing this button right here. Also, if you have two video windows open, in this case I have a YouTube video playing in Opera and a video playing in the QuickTime Media Player, you can choose which video you want to scrub by. Alright everyone, that's it for today's video. If you like this, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.